Hi guys, Barnaby here with Craig yes. after Real Madrid to Tottenham Hotspur nil. This is our post-match review. A couple of things I want to talk about. Obviously, we've been doing some videos throughout the game. What I don't think I've mentioned too much is that for me was a very Rafael Benitez Real Madrid performance. That really shows what the new Real Madrid will be like. They went 1-0 ahead. I mean, before the 1-0, yeah, they were organized before the 1-0. I felt they were okay. And then they got they nicked a goal, and then it was two banks of four, and it was hard, wasn't it, Craig? No, it was so hard. It's typical Benitez making them be very, very organised, disciplined, then doing the counter-attack stuff, going down the wings, using the channels. It was very frustrating, especially for Harry Kane. And even watching it as a Spurs fan, you're thinking, oh, can we just get Harry Kane to get the ball and get a shot? But it never happened. Yeah, I totally agree. But I'm going to go with some positives. I thought Vimmer and Alderweireld first half looked excellent. In fact, Alderweireld was incredible throughout. Yeah. Kyle Walker, I'm going to say it, I've not been his biggest fan, and I've said he can't defend, but he looks like he's been given a kick up the butt oh, by yeah. Kieran Trippier. Trippier has got him on his toes. He was good going forward, made some good recovery runs, looked very strong. He even uh, got through to put in Lamella, which he should have scored early on in the game. Uh, so he looks very good, Kyle Walker. Yeah. Look, I'm going to have to mention that. that It was about three, four minutes in. Kieran... Uh, Sorry, uh, who am I talking about? Kyle Walker. No, Kyle Walker made an incredible run. Kyle Walker made an incredible run down the right in tons of space. Cut it back perfectly for Lamella. And Lamella, it was like schoolboy, leant back on the half volley, just straight up in the air. It was devastating. And I think. He needs his confidence growing, not his confidence shooting like that. Yeah, I mean, the ball just, he, he kind of skied it and the ball ended up in uh, Cologne. I mean, it was absolutely gone out of the Allianz Arena. And it's just ridiculous. Like, Lamella, everyone's been putting faith in him for the last two years. And uh, he's got Poch as his manager. They're both Argentinian. You think we're, we're just praying that he'll develop because we, we can see the potential. We've seen the Rabonas. We've seen confidence in games that don't really matter. And in, in games when we need him to perform, like today, to get a bit of confidence, he under delivers. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, we're not going to stick to the negatives. I do think he's played himself out of the team for Saturday, though. I would play Dembele, Ericsson and Chadley, three behind Kane. I'd play Ale with Bentaleb, who came on and did good. Deli Ali, we'll talk about, um, mentioned him during the game, but an unbelievable performance in such a huge arena against a great team. The kid was playing for MK Dons just six months ago. I mean, the guy was phenomenal today. Very confident, very sharp. Uh, he megged Modric. I think he megged Cruz as well. Uh, the Allianz Arena went absolutely ballistic. I saw Bayern Munich fans like saying, who is this kid? And he's going to have a really, really good spell this season at uh, White Hart Lane. Totally agree. And then just to finish off my 11 for Saturday at Old Trafford, I'd go walk. I'd start him ahead of Trippier, Alderweire, old Vertonghen, and Danny Rose had a great game. And hopefully Hugo. You want Hugo, give another ode to Hugo. Hugo, tell him why Hugo. he needs to stay. Hugo, you are absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you recover that wrist. Take care of it. Don't do anything too silly behind closed doors on you porn. We need you back. Absolutely, we do. This has been Craig Mitch and Barnaby Slater for the Real Madrid 2 Spurs nil game. We're going to be here again tomorrow for the third, fourth place playoff, which I imagine we'll play the kids in. But do leave a comment underneath. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot. All right, so it's Craig Mitch here for Spurred on TV. I've caught up with Paul and Rupert. Guys, straight off the back, what is uh, your analysis on the match? I thought we 